What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening, you guys? Happy Wednesday. Mercury day. Mm -hmm. All Gemini placements, take what resonates. Leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box. If you need a one-on-one, -on -one, I will be adding a couple of services here in the next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, this again? Yo, I ain't I'm not taking these. Now, however, I will I will show you guys uh what came out. Okay, but I'm not taking this again. Nope, 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 spirit. All right. Where was I as far as in my my intro? Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe, y'all know what it is. Also, I want to bring up my social medias are in the description box, you guys. I don't have any other social medias. Also, I wouldn't DM you guys asking you to cash at me uh, money, cash at me money for readings and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So I would never do that, okay? All right, so this is what came out, but I'm not taking these. All right, I'm gonna put these back in the deck and I'm going to shuffle them again. All right, so we have the answers you need are coming, which is the full moon in Gemini. I keep seeing this one. Okay, so we know, Gemini, something something is coming for you. Some answer you need is coming, all right? I kind of touched on that in the last read. Don't let your pride get in the way, okay? Now, this could be you or someone else in your energy, but more than likely, it's probably you. You just aren't aware of it yet, okay? Uh, this is a full moon in Leo, and then um, this one is take time to breathe out. All right, so we're going to put these back in the deck, and we're going to see if we can get a different card this go around. Um because we already know what that is okay so you're nice let's see what moonology has to say all right thank you a balsamic moon this is a time for healing all right i like it i like it spirit thank you all right so we have believe the impossible in a new romantic cycle but it begins okay well then all right so time for healing balsamic moon i hope i'm saying that correctly um let's see what's going on i want y'all gemini's okay uh let me find this in the book uh let's see let's see let's see okay well where is it oh there it is hold on y'all hold on hold on okay so now, a time for healing. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. Wow. <laughs> so this, again, y'all go check out the other reading I just did, okay? Um, however, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the, this is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remember yourself, uh, then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe, all right? Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a, rem a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. Okay, so the attune to the moon is when one is healed, all are healed. So the best way, and I've told you guys this in other readings, the best way for you to heal someone is to heal yourself. That's the best way. Okay. Um, now, additional meanings for this card, take them how they resonate with you. It's time to let go of the past. Mm -hmm. You are about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal. Think about how this situation would look if everyone were healed. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Okay. This, this is where I kind of disagree. You really don't need to be fully healed in order to get into a connection, you guys. I feel like that's a huge misconception because the thing is, when you get into that connection, it's you're going to have a whole new set of situations, a whole new set of traumas and triggers and fears. So no one is ever fully healed, okay? But you do need to be aware of the things that 
um, need to be fixed, okay, or need to be healed or need to be addressed, okay? So as long as both people are aware uh, of their shortcomings, aware of their triggers, and they're being um, proactive in their uh, self-mastery, then I feel like you should be okay as far as wanting to heal. But in many people, in, in uh, many people's eyes, being, uh, you know, the fact that you even want to master yourself is, is being healed, but no one is fully healed. Okay. So that's where I, that's where I differ in this uh, aspect. Okay. So the teaching of this a card is patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which is just around the corner. No matter which point in current in the current moon cycle you have pulled this card, it's a reminder to go a little bit easy on yourself. The time to step into your creat creatrix power. I wonder if they, if they meant to do that. Will come soon enough. Give yourself the time you need. Okay. Love it. So take care of yourselves, Geminis. All right. That is a must. You, if By taking care of yourself, you take care of other people. Okay. Ten of swords, eight of wands. I'm seeing the six of wands here on the bottom. Now, the ten of swords can be many things. Um, it could be an ending of some sort. It could be the ending of like um, some type of thought process as well. Um, Gemini's like kind of putting yourself out of out of your misery. Someone putting themselves out of their misery. Um, Gemini's, but it could also be like exaggerating something, making a mountain out of a molehill. Wow, something is going to start progressing for you. The chariots, Cancer energy, the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working on yourselves, working on your finance, working on your home, something along the lines of that. Three of Cups, the Judgment. I'm seeing the Hierophant here. A lot of the same cards I saw in the last read. Someone wants to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone may want to heal something with you. I feel like there might be a conversation that needs to be had between you and a person. And it doesn't just have to be a, a love situation, okay? Uh, we'll see. We'll find out more. But this kind of, I, I kind of got this energy too when I did y'all's money read. So, you know, I'm seeing a, it is a retrograde right now. And I, let me tell y'all, the retrograde been retrograding uh, with the technology, child. But uh, I feel like Gemini's, you have somebody coming towards you. Now, as I've said, seeing the lineup with this. The Ten of Swords means so far someone getting out of that overthinking. Because like I said in, in other readings, the before the Ten of Swords is the Nine of Swords. You know the Nine of Swords is about going through a dark night of the soul, overthinking, anxiety, depression, guilt, shame. And this is pretty much, like I said, being taken out of your, out of their misery. You see that this is, you know, they're, they've reached rock bottom. Um, when you reach rock bottom, you have no way uh, to go but up. Now, you could stay there, but I don't see it's a lot of movement. So I feel like whatever this is, isn't staying there. Someone, Something or someone here, especially with the judgment, which is about resurrection, something or someone isn't is, is choosing to get up. Okay, get up from this energy. I love this because this is like this person is dead, dead, dead. Um, and then this one is like rising out of coffins. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> yes, I noticed all the little details, okay, of the cards. All right. So let's see what else there is. I'm seeing something kind of rising from the ashes. It could be a Pisces for some of you. Um, someone may have needed some time to heal as well, especially if you... Um, you aren't talking to someone, okay? Also, too, I feel like if you're dating, and I don't know why I'm saying this. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing the Seven of Swords here on the bottom. If you're dating Gemini's or you're, like, seeing someone new, try to be mindful of, like, moving too fast, okay? Don't allow, uh, you know, I won't say don't allow them because I don't think that you would, but don't get caught up in the passion. I feel like try to... Uh, keep a level head and keep things balanced between you and this new connection. Try not to move too fast, um, Gemini's. Okay. Fully get to know a person, and that, and that means like moving in with this person, and you know doing the most. Just just try to um, just try to uh, get it together. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and this is why I love uh, Tarot. The chariot is clarifying the chariot. 
And the chariot is a fast moving energy, uh, Gemini, a very, very, very fast moving energy. So I'm dealing with a Capricorn, heavy Cancer, and Pisces, Scorpio. So a lot of water. We have the Nine of Pentacles here uh, on the bottom. So someone may be a little bit more stable now, so they're able to come forward. I feel like someone may have wanted to... Um, be more stable, especially seeing this Ten of Swords here with the Queen of Pentacles. Someone may have felt like they didn't have anything to offer you, uh, Gemini. Like someone feels like you are like out of their lead. Wow. Okay. Six of Wands. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups. So interesting. Now this isn't gonna resonate with all of you guys, but let me say this, uh, Gemini. Either, either. You you wrote a song or a poem for someone, or someone did this for you. I don't know why I heard this, but someone wrote, uh, created something for you, uh, a song, a poem, a picture. I feel like something that has to do with art, uh, or you did this for someone. Gemini's take that how it resonates with you. Um, I feel like now the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles could be you too. Like you could be in this overthinking energy. But I do feel like someone may feel like they, it's going to be hard to get out of whatever hole they dug. <laughs> um, now with the, the, the Eight of Wands here with the Hangman, uh, it's, it kind of goes in line with Gemini. If you're in a new situation to, you know, Try not to move too fast with this person. Get to know each other and, and do things kind of more conservative. That's that's what I'm getting with that. Try to be a little bit more conservative with your connections, uh, Gemini's. Nine of Cups, the judgment again. Something's coming back around. I feel like someone is 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 learning how to get out of their head and do what makes them happy. So this could be you, could be someone in your energy. Um, take that how it resonates, but someone is wanting to, to do what makes them happy. And, and, it, and it took them hitting rock bottom to do this. Like someone had to hit rock bottom for them to uh, get a fucking clue. Um, Gemini's, and again, this could be you, okay? A lot of times it takes, it takes us uh, going through these hardships for us to see what really matters in our lives and I feel like someone is starting to see what really matters to them It's beautiful actually <laughs> Wow, wow a lot of fast energy the knight of wands the Sun Could be a Leo could be a Sag Yeah Yep yeah. And notice this Knight of Wands is like traveling on over to this Knight of this this Nine of Cups. So it's like and again, this could be you. This could be uh, any energy Gemini. Okay, um, I feel like for a lot of some of you are traveling too. You may be traveling, or you're traveling with this person. Someone's traveling to you as well with this chariot here. The Knight of Wands is about travel. Lots of travel here. The Eight of Wands is about travel. Eight of Wands is also Sag. Saturn and Sag. Uh, so I feel like I told you guys eight is Saturn. <clears throat> so I feel like Gemini's, you are either going to meet somebody while you're traveling. Some of you got a bunch of traveling coming up. And I, if you don't, I feel like next year, Gemini's, you need to, you need to be intentional about that. Like, I feel like some of you guys need to kind of change your environment a little bit. Some of you guys might be, um, very, in, in whatever way you can afford, Gemini's, okay? But some of you need to try to change your surroundings. That, that's what I'm getting here. You, you need to have some type of change of scenery uh, occasionally. But some of you guys, you, you haven't traveled in a while. Um, you've been wanting to, but you may not have the funds or whatever the case may be. But you're going to have to, you're going to have to make something pop, make something shake so you can uh, get away from your environment sometimes. Now, like I said, another way to see this is someone is realizing their happiness and they're coming for it. They're, they, they're gunning for it, Gemini's. 
whoever this is or whatever this is there oh my gosh oh my gosh gemini's <laughs> page of wands you're gonna you're gonna hear from someone now i have to cover up this star card real fast hold on you guys wow 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 <laughs> Someone may travel to you, uh, Gemini. It's like someone is, is, even if they're up the street, take it how it resonates with you. But yeah, because this star card is nude, nude, honey. She's nude. She's neuter than nude. <laughs> okay. So she got the body hair and everything. So this is the star card, you guys. I have to cover her up because she's, she's, and then I have the fourth wands under that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put the four of wands there. Someone wants to come by your house, uh, Gemini's. Somebody might pop up at your house. So I'm just going to keep it a buck with you in that aspect. Someone wants to come and see you. They may ask to come see you. Mm hmm I love how the star is crossing the chariot not once but twice here. Someone is really, really wanting to heal this. And it's funny because it says it's a time for healing. This could also be too, though, Gemini's, is you are healing. You are being intentional about your healing, which in turn is drawing someone into you. Okay? Could be a past person. Doesn't have to be because I'm seeing a new energy for a lot of you. Okay? But I, I feel like, you know, just just don't get ahead of yourself with... That's the, that's the only downside of the drawback I see with this is just try not to get too ahead of yourselves. The four of wands too, I get like moving in together. I feel like you're just gonna be so happy with this person. The vibe is just gonna be on point. Um, just just try to keep things at bay, okay? Someone's gonna have to be the level-headed one in the situation, all right? Now, if it's not love, I feel like you are just very, very determined to do the work. You're very determined to heal. You're very determined to, um, Make the both the make the both make the best out of your life, Gemini's, and I love to see it. But I feel like you or whoever this is in your energy have to hit rock bottom for them to have this realization. Okay, and sometimes it happens that way. Sometimes it happens, in, you know, um, someone someone having to. And a lot of times that happens, you know, where, where people have traumatic experiences or near-death experiences or whatever for them to come out of that and really really um, be motivated to enjoy their life I'm nice so again that could be you could be someone in your energy take that how it resonates I love it either way it goes I love it okay I'm just gonna get a couple of these So we got, oh wow, I just wanted to get two, but we have soulmates here. Well, the first word is soulmates. Flamingos, which is Pisces. Uh, and of course it is soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating, attraction, seduce, long-term potential, displays of affection, charm, it factor, two of a kind, alluring, je ne sais quoi. I told you this is, for some of you, this is a love situation, okay? Um... Yeah, some of you this is this is a love situation. All right, so we have eyeglasses here, which is Taurus. Um, assessment, evaluate options, mm -hmm. perspective, review, analyze. I feel like this is what happened in this area here. Um, once shit hit the fan. Um, examine, seeing clearly, the fine print, estimate, a closer look, focus, awareness, and check the details. Love that. That's very very fitting here. Um, Gemini, but I feel like it, it was kind of a situation where, you know, when when you feel pain or you when you feel heartbreak or when you feel uh, like like everything is over, everything's ended. It does it does force you to put things into perspective. And I feel like something here was put into perspective, Gemini, either for you or for someone in your energy. Okay, and then we have tools, which is Capricorn, and so this one is 
uh, practical abilities, resources, has what it takes, application, build it, fix it, organization, help someone, task at hand, well prepared, equipped, get shit done, and masculinity. Wow. Well then. All right, Geminis, hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.